tutorial time. Today I'll be covering the destination selector or the track selector that's in my Let's Play series. Um, people have requested uh, I do a uh, tutorial on it, so today we're going to be covering it. Um, I do have a little demonstration set up in front of us. So just to show people what it's all about, this is the destination selector here. So all you have to do is say you want to go to Red's place, which has got a huge mob farm. Just select Red which is indicated by the red wall over there. That's the destination you want to go to. Spawn ourselves a cart and off the cart goes to red. And as you can see, it's successfully arrived at the destination. Now you want to go to a gold farm at blue. No problem, select blue. Spawn yourself a cart. Off you go and you will, will arrive at blue. So successfully arrived at blue. So that's what we will be building today, this destination selector panel in front of us. It's not too difficult to build. Now this can be built up to 15 wide, so that means you can have 15 destinations at all. You can have a big train station with this thing on it and have 15 destinations. So I'll take you quick around the back here. So that's the design right there. Now originally this is not my design, it is someone's out on the internet, um, there is tons of videos on it so I will not take credit for the design, but I will be showing you how to build it. Okay, so I think we should just get stuck right into it, and another thing before we get stuck into it, we will just be covering the destination selector, which is this thing here. We won't be covering none of the rails, nothing like that, that is totally up to you how you want to have them set up, I will just be showing you the destination selector. That's it. Okay, so that's out of the way. Let's head over and um, start the tutorial. Alright guys, let's get to work. So, I'll be using blue and white wool to represent two different slices. Now the reason why we have two different slices is because we don't want the redstone connect. So the redstone is a little bit different at the back of each slice. Okay, so let's get to work on slice one, which is blue. Now you can use whatever block you desire, wood, cobblestone, stone, doesn't matter, just use whatever block, but I'll be using blue wool. I'll be using wool, but I'll be calling it a block. Alright, so let's get to work on slice one. Okay, so first of all, you want to place a block down, and on top of that block, we want to place a redstone dust. Then on top of that redstone dust, we want to place another block. And then on top of that block, another block. And then on top of that block, a redstone lamp. Okay, so... We come back down here, we place a button in, and then we in the middle, we place your sign down. And you can call it whatever you like, I'm just going to call it Mob Bum. Okay. Alright, so that is the front done. That is pretty much the little control panel done. So, that's pretty simple. Let's move to the, to the back here. This is the back. Okay. Right at the bottom, we want to place a redstone repeater. And then on top of that redstone repeater, we need a block like so. So we now have a block on top of that redstone repeater. And then on top of that block we need another redstone repeater with maximum delay or maximum tick, like so. Okay, then on top of that redstone repeater we need another block, like that. Okay, simple. Alright, let's move to the back. Okay, so right at the bottom repeater we need to place another block. Then on top of that block we need to place a redstone torch. Then on top of that redstone torch, another block. Then on top of that block, we need to place another redstone torch. Then on top of that redstone torch, another block. Okay. Then facing frontwards towards the redstone lamp, on the front of the block, we need to place another redstone torch, like so. The front redstone lamp should light up. Okay. And that's what we're currently up to. Alright, so let's get work on the back. Alright, so we go back down the bottom to the redstone torch which is currently on. And we place a block next to it, like so, facing backwards. Then, what we need to do is we need to place a torch facing backwards on, t on that block, like so. Then on that block as well, we need to also put a redstone dust, like so. On top of that dust, we need to place another block. Okay? Alright. So now we go all the way back down the bottom. And then underneath this torch that is on the side of the block at the back, we need to put one redstone dust. And then next to that redstone dust, we need to place a repeater facing the front of the machine. 
like that. Okay, no delay. All right, so that should be looking like that. Okay, so let's finish off the back now. We just, all we need to do is place one block right at the back here next to this redstone dust. And on that red, on that block, we need to put a torch. Now this torch is for your signals. So this torch will, will control everything, your tracks, whatever. You just run your signal to that. Okay. All right. So that's slice one done. Take a really good look. It's, it's not too hard. If you need to go back and pause and rewind, you can go do that. Okay. Um, so let's do slice two, which will be re represented by white wall. It's pretty similar, just the back end is different. That's all. So we need to do exactly the same thing here. We place a block down. We place a redstone dust on top of that block, which will connect to the other one, which is fine. Don't worry about it. Then on top of that redstone dust, we need to add two more blocks, like so. Then on top of those two blocks, we need to add another redstone lamp, like so. And then you can add your button in and also your sign. All right, and we can call this, I don't know, XP farm. Okay, so let's go back to the back here. Go back to the bottom block and facing backwards, we need to place a redstone repeater. Then on top of that redstone repeater, we need to place another block. And then on top of that block, we need to put another redstone repeater with maximum delay, or maximum tick, like that. Then on top of that repeater, we need to place another block. Okay. All right. So let's go back down the bottom again to this bottom repeater and we need to place a block. And then on top of that block, we need to put a redstone torch. Then on top of that redstone torch, we need to put another block. Then on top of that block, we need to put another redstone torch. Then on top of that redstone torch, we need to put another block. Okay. So now facing back to the redstone lamp like the other one, we need to place another redstone torch, like so, which will light up the lamp like the other one does. Okay, so now here comes the little bit different than the other slice bit. The, the only thing you need to, to, to memorize, all right, to, to the difference between both slices. Okay, so come to the back here, and where this off torch is, we need to place a block, like so, all right? right next to the right next to this block here so that should be looking like that and then we need to come down a block which is next to this red this other redstone torch which is off like that and like that so it's like a little staircase all right you come out one and then you go down two all right so it should be looking like that then right at the end we add another redstone torch which is you know your second signal to change the tracks or whatever you need to change and then we run redstone from that torch up to the off torch. Okay, so it should be looking like that. All right, let's cover the bottom here because we need to do exactly the same as the other side, just opposite. So instead of um, repeater redstone, we're just gonna use the repeater here, the redstone there. So facing the front of the machine, a repeater and redstone dust, like so. See, they don't connect, they don't interfere with each other, so that's fine. The only thing we needed to change is this little bit here. And that is it. That is it. So now when we hit a button, it should set up your machine. There you go. That is how basic it, basic it is. Now all you have to do is repeat this process over and over again. So you'd build blue here, and then white, then blue, then white. You can do that up to 15 times for 15 destinations. Um, what I suggest is building the front, the front of this machine, this part here first. Repeat that all over and over again, and then build the back because that's all that needs to be changed is the back. All right. So it is a pretty basic uh, process. Um, uh, hopefully, I explained it the best I could in this uh, tutorial. Um, and yeah, so I, I I hope you guys got it all down. It's it's pretty simple once you do memorize it. As I said, if you do slit. You do the you do sections at a time. You should be okay. And as I said, go back, pause the video, make one in your own world, place the blocks as I'm going along, do the, exactly the same thing, and you should be okay. And then just double check your own stuff. But it does 100% work. All right. Okay. Well, that this is that concludes this tutorial, and I will uh, catch you all later.